Hi, today we will see how to use model inputs instead of traditional way of doing input and output decorators. I have a component here called quantity which has a number displayed and a plus minus button which should increment and decrement the quantity. This is my quantity component here. As you can see, uh, it's just a placeholder right now. There is no logic. If we are to start implementing this in a traditional Angular way, we would expect a parent component will have a quantity, public quantity, let's say default value is 10. And we would like to pass this value to the child component as a property here. By the way, with Angular 17 onwards, you do not need to specify component marking as its own tag. You can self-close the component. So now we have this input property passed here. We need to specify the input decorator inside a component. So let's define input and quantity as number and default value is zero. Let me mark it as public and input should be imported. That means in this binding, I can just put quantity here and I have got my 10 here. In my parent component, I will also just print out quantity and quantity. Okay. So I have quantity shown at the parent level and the child level. Now let's implement the updates. So whenever there is a increment and decrement, we want to update the quantity value. So in increment, we can do something like this dot quantity is equal to this dot quantity plus one. And in decrement, this dot quantity is equal to this dot quantity minus one. Let's put a condition that this dot quantity should be greater than zero so that we don't show quantity in negative. Let's see if this works. Uh, we have quantity incrementing and decrementing, but this value is not being reflected on a parent level. So for that, we need to have another decorator called output and I will call it quantity change and this is of type new event emitter of type number. So this is going to be my output event for the parent component whenever the quantity changes. So what I can do is now this dot quantity change event, I will just emit it with the new value called quantity and I will do the same here so now we can listen to this quantity change in a parent component here we can add quantity change dollar event and i would say here changed and here i can add public and i'm expecting number here so i would say updated quantity of type number and here I will just say quantity is equal to updated quantity. Okay, here it should be changed. Now let's say we can see the value is being incremented on the child level as well as parent level. We can do one more thing. We can get rid of this explicit function handling and we can directly use the two way binding on this property here, reason being the event we defined here has the same name. So in Angular, if you have the input property and output property name in this syntax, like the name is same, followed by the change keyword, it automatically listen to that event. So this two-way binding should work now, you see? So this is the traditional way of doing it. Angular has introduced a new syntax called new API called model. So we can have public and it's a signal base. So it will be like 
quantity is equal to model of type i would just simple set number first i i don't like to use any copilot for this kind of demo because it shows all this suggestion and it breaks my thought process so i still like to type my own code right now okay so what i have i have the model here which is of type number and now if i just comment this out what should happen is we will not see the output here because it's a signal type and when we are doing the interpolation we are just printing the signal so what we should do is we should call it as a function here so this should resolve the value okay now the increment decrement for that we can say quantity dot update and is a function so i can say old quantity old quantity is equal to old quantity plus one and old quantity minus one now the magic would be you don't need to do any changes in the parent component the parent component ca calling mechanism will be same you will have the same two-way binding or the property binding syntax only child will change you just need to specify model here and instead of emitting a value you just say update which has in internal subscription model and that that will update the quantity field to the parent so with this approach you can get rid of the input output decorators and just have a model one thank you